guys, and welcome back to Fable 2 The Pretty Princess Chronicles. As always, I'm DemonFire93, and if you're lost, don't worry. You didn't miss anything. This is not a mislabeled episode. It, this may not look like where we last were at all, but fear not. It's because of the fact that my footage got corrupted, which is always lovely. So, today's episode, as many of you have figured out by the title, is the recap episode of what we did, or what I did, over the two and a half hour session that got corrupted. -ed 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 so, let's start, shall we? Um, if you're wondering where we are, there's a cursed snow globe. It's a part of the DLC. It's uh, Murgo, the traitor, the guy that gave us the. Uh, music box when we were kids. Yeah, he's back in Bowerstone. He gave us, or sold us, this cursed snow globe, which when I came in was in black and white, except for certain things. Um, suffice it to say that that was at the end of the two and a half hour session, and uh, that the recordings were get, it was getting very long, that I was very anxious to get it done, so I skipped a lot of the chests and just went straight for the uh, story part of it and the completion part of it, and so I have a lot of dig spots and chests to go through today, so the actual video portion is not really going to be interesting. But audio is me recapping stuff, so if you want to know what you missed, or what we missed, stick, a, stick around. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, first thing we did was uh, finish off the um, silver keys and gargoyles which took actually a lot longer than I expected because there was one key in bloodstone and one key in brightwood now that's all I knew that means I had to go around all of brightwood and all of bloodstone to try and find the two keys. Turned out the one in Bloodstone was in, uh, actually on Lionhead Isle, randomly. Um, I had missed it when I was there. And the one in Brightwood was in the farmhouse cellar. Apparently there's a, oh my. Um, okay, okay. There's a, uh, if you killed him, which I did, you have to dig up the key from his grave, and then you can go into his cellar, and there's a, like a little mini dungeon there, and explore it, and get all the stuff, including a silver key. Took nearly the entire two hours to do those two things, because it was just scour both those maps. Yeah. So, that was when I uh, went and bought Fairfax Castle after that, and, uh... That was where I got the last gargoyle, as well as using the 50 keys to open up the only chest that has 50, needs 50 keys, a worthless piece of shit chest that has, I think, 20,000 gold, was it? When the entire um, mansion, or castle, cost a million gold to buy. Yeah, it was kind of stupid to have that, especially since our fortune is what now? Eight million, nine million? Hold on, let me check here. Dog tricks, the bunny hop. Sure. Hey, Duke, you want to learn how to bunny hop? Yeah, there you go. You learned how to bunny hop. All right, what do we got? Yeah, look at that. 9.8 million gold. Million. Okay? That was one eighth at the time, I believe. No, one ninth. One ninth of my fortune at the time. Because I had nine million to buy the mansion, and they give me 20,000 gold from a 50 key chest, whoop de fucking do I, I've made more from all the goddamn rent that I've collected over the years. Stupid people. But, whatever. Um, after you buy the castle, you can explore it, and inside, uh, we get to meet the butler again. Nice little butler man. And, uh, he had... Okay, how do I get this? Because the door's closed. Unless I just break down the door. Excuse me. Can, can really have to go up the steps. Hello? Excuse me. Could you please open the door? I'm nearly taller than this door. 
Okay, well, how do I get in there? Die, you stupid woman. You fell off the steps again. Stay up there. Stay up there. Uh, anyways, once you buy the castle, you meet the, the butler, and you're allowed in. I know that I need to make that. Why won't it let me? Anyways. Um, and he informs us of bandits who have um, snuck in to a in through a passage somewhere and so you have to uh, kill all the bandits so you did that and then find their secret entrance in and follow it to its end which ended up being a cave that had Leo head I think you know the lion head alchemist that they decided to put in uh, had his final potion the gender bender potion which you needed to make the decision right then and there that you are going to drink the potion and become a male or stay female forever I chose to stay female forever because of the fact that this is the pretty princess chronicles damn it and it would not be a pretty princess chronicles if I were suddenly a man and so my character is still a woman and I have the trophy um, I think. Alright, I have the trophy. Um, hmm. Yeah! Sex chain souvenir! Got the trophy. Of, uh. Yeah. That potion. It's just a bottle. Very, uh, phallic shaped. Hello? Open the fucking door. I save your world, you let me in, damn it. Burdle Cottage, invite only. Fuck your invites. Eh, fine. Anyways, um, after all that, what happened after all that? I know that. Oh yes, I exchanged uh, my repeater crossbow for this one because it may not be s as fast but it's got more damage and is an immediate uh, reload and instead of fire six shots and then reload um, and that was our prize for getting all of the gargoyles broken um, and then from there I started this which the snow globe was cursed and in black and white and introduced the shades. You remember those guys, the guys that are shadowy apparition bandit guys. Yeah, there were a bunch of them and I had to fight them, but they were not black shadowy guys. They were colored people. Oh my gosh, that, wait, that's a bad way of saying that. They were rainbow colored people. They, okay. They were color-coded. One was blue, to signify that you had to beat the shit out of them with melee attacks. One was yellow, or three different types, I should say. There were more than just one of each. Yellow meant that I had to shoot them with my bow, and red meant that I had to fire spells at them until they died. And doing so led me through this town until I saved some children, and then they gave me a seal that allowed me to go back in to what in regular Fable 2 is the Myrtle, or not, not the Myrtles, it's a Reaver's Dark Seal Sanctum place thing. And I was able to sacrifice um, that girl's youth to give you Reaver's youth. Yeah, that sort of place. But in this realm, the children give you a colorful little seal that allows for you Instead, to return color to the world, or to this snow globe. And so, that's the recap. Um, ta-da! Here's the seal right here. The Shadow Court, that's what it's called. That's right, it's the Shadow Court. 
Um, one thing we did miss was the fact that I threw my controller away. That was fun. Um, I got tired of my wireless controller just disconnecting even though the batteries on it were completely full and literally threw it over my shoulder, let it hit the floor, commented about it because of it's like, this is all audio for you guys, that's all you get to hear. It's just, what you just heard was me throwing my controller away. And then going, storming into the other room and finding a wired controller to hook up instead because apparently wireless controllers just don't fucking work. Don't know why, but they don't. So, that's uh, pretty much it. Oh, um, I did get a the entire second run of Chesty, which was weird. Yeah, um, right after I started up the game last time, it was basically telling me that one of the quests I could do when I opened up my quest log was that I could go to Brightwood Tower and sleep in it like I did the first time. And... So I was like, okay, is this gonna be something new? Nope, do the exact same thing. So if you guys noticed a little while earlier when I was showing you the gender bender trophy, there's also two Son of Chesty trophies because that was the first thing I did was a Son of Chesty run again for some reason. I don't know if the game was just bugged or if it was just that's part of the plan was that you get to go to Chesty's realm and do the exact same quest twice for the exact same trophy twice or what but uh, it was interesting um, and anything else that interesting happen I don't think so which is weird, because it's only been going like 16 minutes, less than that even. Hold on. My video's only been going for 14 minutes. Always record the audio first. So, um, yes. I said it a little while ago, but I will reiterate that the reason why we're going through this whole thing, if you're wondering why I'm just wandering around aimlessly, is because of the fact that I rushed through here the first time because when I started this quest to go through the entire snow globe which look at how fucking massive this place is if I had explored it it would have added another hour my footage ended up being two and a half Duke you right there two and a half hours long and about 900 to 950 gigabytes that's a lot that's a lot of time and space to offer problems for corruption and yeah. yep sure enough it got corrupted um at about two hours in i was like oh come on we haven't even done the dlc i need to at least get started on it we'll just do the snow globe how long could it take and as i was working on it i'm looking at my time going oh shit i really need to wrap this up oh shit i really need to wrap this up and so i was just rushing through um, so it's kind of a good thing I guess that uh, it got corrupted because it wouldn't have been really my best work my best commentary I would just be rambling while I do not rambling but I would be uh, rushing through while I do this stuff whereas now I can take my time and walk the beach and I like long walks on the beach and... Hello, Silk. So Wait, you're not a silver key. Oh, you're a stupid Murgo dancing trophy thing. That's right, I commented on that, that uh, Murgo has trophies hidden throughout his items that he's selling you. Where he's trying to beat Tingle from Legend of Zelda. Where you find the trophies in the dungeons and you... You, you use a Tingle bomb to blow them up and you get a trophy and it gets on Tingle's... Island or Tingles wherever the fuck he hangs out. I only remember Wind Waker had Tingle Island. Hey Duke, you wanna find that dig spot for me? <coughs> yeah, it's great. I'll leave you to it. 
Okay, there you go. Silly dog. And, uh, number of things with that. One is I already have that achievement to get all those trophies, so I really don't need it again. And two is I really don't give a shit about Murgo's fucking trophies, and so I don't care to collect them. But I've seemingly found like three or four of them, so I mean, I guess if we run into them, I'll collect them, but I'm not going out of my way to do so. We've already been that way. The last place to check is the Shadow Court, which is really not that shadowy in this realm. I mean, look at the seal that got put on here. It's a child's toy. I had to save five children to turn them to the school to uh, have them make me that seal. <laughs> Hello! You're not a shadowy apparition of a melee person. You're a shadowy apparition of a Balverine. And you're a shadowy apparition of a bandit, not a colored melee, range, and or magic man. Really need to stop saying colored. I mean, nobody says that anymore. But somebody can still take offense to that. Somebody out there. Okay. Oh, hi. Why are you still here? You should be dead. You should be dead then. God damn, this place is large. Away with you. Go the fuck away! Yeah, so if uh, the problems with that recording session taught me anything, it's that I really can not allow, afford for, you know, long recording sessions. I knew there was a reason why I had a two hour limit because that seems to be the, the point where the game will break any further. So, really needed to just end it. I had enough time last time I was able to record more, but that being the case, I should have just ended it at two hours and then started a new, started a new session. Would have been the better option. So yes, each of these rooms uh, came out with a number of the yellow guys all around them and I had to shoot them. Or was it the red guys that I had to fire magic at? I don't remember. But got through it all. Made it to... Hi there. That's not... And say we did. Come on. Ow. There you go. See, it does much more damage. It just doesn't reload as fast. I mean, it it reloads a single shot, so I, I can't tell how we're going to do against the Banshees. That's my only fear, is how are we going to fare against Banshees? Have I been in this room? I just came from this room. Damn it! Because I liked when I was able to just fire ten shots into a Banshee's face and fucking murder it. Now I'm not so sure I can do that. Excuse you. Thank you. I love how this controller has its own problems. Uh, the left stick likes to get stuck in the up position. It's weird. Hi there. So, is this the place then? Yes, this was where I just stood here. Oh, that's right, there was a girl, there was a lady here who was weeping and crying like, like there was in Reaver's regular chamber of terror and everything. And there was one guy of each color, sh shadow guys, all standing there. One was here, one was there, one was on the other side, all draining energy from her, and I had to 
kill them with one shot each of the type of ability that I'm supposed to use on them. And why is there a door up there I can't get to? I don't know, but that's it. That's what we did last time. I mean, real quick recap, just to make sure. I mean, recapping the recap, I know. So weird. Um, I got, yeah, the, the rammer. It's my new weapon. He's got the ghoul augment, the flame augment, and the bewitching augment. Fire damage, drain life from targets. Yeah. And I maxed out my strength. And I got some other crappy items from uh, Murgo. He gave me the... I don't remember. Wesley's soldier uniform, which we don't really care about. But that's the recap, the recap episode for you guys. So that'll do it for us today. Um, next week we will be continuing where we actually left off at the end of last one, which is going to be buying the second of uh, Murgo's cursed objects. This is a part of the See the Future DLC. And the first one is the snow globe. Second one is a... I don't remember what. But uh, that'll do it for us today. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you want to keep up to date with all of my videos, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook to become part of the conversation or also part of the voting for games I should play in the future. And as always, I'm Demonfire93. I think I'm lost. And I will see you guys next time.